So I've done some really crazy things with Debian this week. I have kind of done a custom kernel is the first thing. Some people have spotted it in prior videos. The second thing is I've done some system D tweaks as far as caching goes. I've also done some performance increases so my games play a lot better using something called game mode. And then also I did something in Wine where it actually ended up installing a virus which I didn't even think was possible but makes sense that it would actually kind of work. And I want to give you all the details on that, so stay tuned. So as far as the custom kernel, it actually came from a YouTube comment. I'll go ahead and put it down below from Sabrina. Appreciate it. I went ahead and installed this kernel using the web address there. I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. But really, really incredible performance. I'm using an AMD Vega 64, so being on the latest kernel is something I missed from Arch because I did see a performance decrease if you watch my last video. Now, installing this kernel brought me back up to my what I knew in Arch and how well it worked in Arch. So very, very good. I was concerned about stability and doing a Franken Debian, as many people call it. And it was kind of unfounded, at least in my case. It still works flawlessly. My system works way better than it did in Arch as far as stability goes. In Arch, I was still getting lockups here and there and some low power problems coming from like standby and doing reboots and those types of things, it sometimes would lock up where in Debian it has been just rock solid. And I was afraid going from the custom vanilla kernel into this kernel, I'd have some issues, but I actually did not. It was a very, very seamless process and just fantastic. Now, as far as the system D tweaks, I'm actually gonna cut over to my main screen here so you can see those. But basically, it improves my caching performance and it did make a big difference in gameplay. Okay, so to make these changes that we need to make in our system D cache to just improve gaming performance, if you're seeing stutters and just general sluggish behavior, you might make these system D tweaks if you're on Arch or Debian. I've done it on both uh, and it has seen a substantial increase in gaming performance. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you the file that I make these changes to if this file doesn't exist for you uh, just be sure and create it so let's go ahead and go into system control d in the etc folder and if we do a listing we need the 99-sys.conf and we're going to modify that so i'm just going to nano this um, as super user and there's already a bunch of stuff just go down to the very bottom and then we're going to make our changes right there so um, I'm adding these four lines and I'll also put this in the description of this video as well. Uh, these things basically make it perform a lot better, make it handle cache a lot smoother. Just note, I am using 16 gigs of memory. So this dirty ratio, honestly, if you're on like a eight gig system, you might up this ratio at 3% right now on 16 gigs, that's plenty. However, if I had less memory, I think this ratio needs to be higher as I understand it. Uh, but look at the factors as far as the Wikipedia articles on these specific commands if you're worried about it. I always encourage you to double check anything I say against the Wikipedia because it may be different for your system if you have a specific memory requirement, like let's say you have 32 gigs of memory, three might be too high. Or if you have a completely different distribution and maybe it's not system D, obviously this wouldn't work, but you just need to kind of look and read about these commands whenever you do it. I'd never say blindly follow anybody on the internet. That always ends up in disaster. However, I like to kind of get these ideas from other people on the internet and then research them because that's the best thing. That's the best way to learn, I found, is see what everybody else is doing see what they're doing well, take that, learn how they did it well, and then approve upon it. And that's what I encourage you to do. I don't think these are the best settings per se, but they're a beginning place. So feel free to tweak them and know that these settings for me have made a world of difference in my gameplay and performance. So after those system D tweaks that I did, I went ahead and installed game mode. I'll actually leave it in the link below, but basically what you do is you do a game mode and then the command 
or game mode run command from that actual GitHub article, and it basically removes all the governors and things like that on the actual system, which made another performance increase. So right now, after all these tweaks, I am now seeing the best performance I've ever seen in my Linux instance or any Linux distribution thus far. So when I first installed Ubuntu or Fedora back in November, oh man, this is by far the best performance the fastest my computer's ever run, and the most stable and reliable it has ever run, hands down. So it just kind of goes to show, Linux is Linux, guys. You just gotta tweak. Some distributions are less friendly, and you have to do more work to get it to where it needs to be. But right now, I am taking tons of backups, full system images, because I wanna be able to get back to here. I worked really hard to get my system to where it's at, and it is running just so good. Ah, I can't emphasize this enough. So very happy. On the contrast, I actually booted back into Windows to play some VR and it just felt like going from a Porsche or a Ferrari into a beat up old Geo. And then finally, as far as wine goes, I actually had Devilman Cry 5 and I was going to do a whole video on how to get it working and all this. I was convinced that, hey, it doesn't have native Linux support. It's not going to work very well out of the box. <laughs> it took one I and I edit. It literally took literally just changing the Devilman Cry from the local files in Steam from DirectX 12 to DirectX 11 and everything runs flawless. So it, the video itself would be like 30 seconds of setup and then the rest would just be gameplay. Not really worth a video, so if you are wanting to play Devilman Cry 5, just make sure your DirectX is set to 11 instead of 12 and you'll be golden. Uh, but it's just amazing all the other stuff. Now I have an ultra wide, as if you've watched any of my other past gaming videos I've showcased. Now Devilman Cry did not have an ultra wide setting. So I thought, hey, let me look up and see how to do this. And some people were doing some hex edits on its executable to get the ultra wide functionality. And then I found this patch. Hey, make Devilman Cry 5 an ultra wide. Yeah, I had totally installed this completely unsanctioned patch from some untrusted forum that I've never even met. And shocking, it was a virus. I could not believe how how funny it is that it would actually run it and it was having some issues with my system. So what ended up happening is it spawned zombie processes from those processes I'd go through just like in Windows Task Manager, go through and kill them and then they just respawn and I was just getting a good chuckle out of this. I was like, this is awesome and horrible all at the same time. And I rebooted my computer, comes back up. Obviously, since it's isolated into a wine prefix, it's not going to spread through your Linux system and infect everything like it would in Windows. That's Windows' downfall. Linux has it actually contained in that prefix. Now, it's still running and taking up tons of resources when it runs. So what I did is I just blew out the whole game prefix, reloaded my Devilman Cry 5, and just said, hey, forget about that patch for now. I'll wait for it actually to get patched by the official Capcom company. But that was just kind of funny about the virus. I, I couldn't even fathom that actually happening, and it makes sense on how it happens. It's basically a very inefficient virus that runs. It did spawn a whole bunch of stuff, sucking up some resources, but if you've seen any of my videos, I constantly have my resource monitor up. So when I see all my CPU cores spike 30%, I know something's up. And that's when I saw all these processes and I just got a good chuckle from it. And needless to say, everything's fine now. System's still running perfectly. I'm not seeing any of the runaway processes like I did before. And, uh, you know, everything's right with the world and I'm just loving life right now. And that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you'd like to contribute and help make more of these videos, consider visiting me on Patreon. And I also created a donation link. If you don't like Patreon, you can directly donate to me on christitus.com. And I'll see you in the next video.